Hi, my name is Patrick Desjardins. In this video, you will learn about how to have a specific version of Node.js and NPM per project instead of one unique version for your whole computer. A specific version of Node.js and NPM requires the NVM tool. NVM stands for Node Version Manager. From that point on, I will only mention specific versions of Node.js in this regard talking about the NPM version. The reason is that NPM comes with Node.js. While you can afterward install a newer version of NPM, I will assume we handle only Node.js version for the sake of simplicity. Everything gets started by acquiring NVM, which is done with a single command that is available on the main repository hosted on GitHub. You can see the URL on the screen at the moment. An important note that is the installation is performed through a script. The script is a bash script, hence you need to use macOS or Linux or Windows 10 with the bash console that allow adding a Ubuntu Linux version on your computer. I will assume you have found your way to get a bash console and or an alternative. To start using the tool name NVM, you need to execute a command from GitHub, which will download and install NVM automatically. The installation process uses the curl tool to download and then install locally what we are looking for. NVM will be available everywhere because it will be insert into your path file. You may need to restart your terminal after the installation, but this is it. Now we need to install node with NVM, then we will be able to use it. First run NVM install, followed by the version of Node.js you plan to use. For example, for a specific project, you may need Node.js version 10.0.1, hence you need to type nvm install 10.0.1. If you want to know which versions are available with nvm, you can type the command nvm ls remote so far, and it's going to tell you have installed a version of Node.js globally in your system, but your project is still not linked to the Node.js version called by nvm. The installation was done by your local repository of Node.js. To activate the Node.js that got installed, you need to specify by typing nvm use, followed by the version that you want to activate. For example, nvm use 10.0.1, in that case that you have not installed the version you want to use, nvm will notify you that an installation is required. Why do you need to, to install and then use? because you need to install once on your computer, which open the possibility to use in many projects. It is space efficient and also faster to activate a specific version than downloading every time Node.js. If you forget which version of Node.js has been installed on your machine, you can use NVM LS, which will list all the previously installed version. Like the package.json, which is used to share across developers, you can share the configuration of NVM by creating a .nvmrc file. The file is a one-liner that contains the version number. In our example, the file would contain the string 10.0.1. That's it. Nothing more. Then typing NVM use would read the version from the file and automatically activate it for your project. Once you are configured with NVM, it is a good practice that every time you start a terminal to go in the root of the project and execute NVM use, it will load for that folder and children folder the right Node.js. If you omit, you might get into error that the old, you have an old version of Node.js running your code. The final trick to avoid forgetting calling NVM use is you can use an NPM package that will automatically detect when you get in a folder that has a .nvmrc. The execute command to install this tool is npm install-j avn and also avn nvm and avn and avn setup. Is it, it's going to be written right here. You are then all set. Anytime you move into a folder with the command cd or open a terminal with Visual Studio Code, the NVM will execute use which will set node for the console to the one specified in the file NVMRC. So here we are again, we are at a fork where you need to take a decision. 
Are you going to go left or are you going to go right? Remember that any path is a good path since it is your path. Would you like to know more about NPM versioning semantic or to get started with TypeScript? Regardless of your choice, it was the right one because it was your choice. See you soon.